Kings and Queens, welcome back to the kingdom. It is finally upon us. The Resident Evil chapter is in Dead by Daylight. You can now launch and play this for yourselves. And in today's video, we're going to be doing exactly that. Playing as the nemesis, having some fun, giving our honest opinions on the updated nemesis, and talking about some of the other changes that came along with this patch. We are currently live on Twitch. We're going to be streaming for a little bit today and giving away some DLC code. So if you guys are interested, link is in the description. The first thing is that the first perk on the list that has been changed is Franklin's Demise. So Franklin Demise no longer it consumes the item when it's on the floor. Instead, it just drops the item. So this has been reverted back to what it originally was. A lot of people are pretty upset about this because they talked about how keys are very overpowered and one of the ways that they went against this was with Franklin's Demise. The next perk that has actually been changed on the list was Lucky Break and it looks like it was completely reverted back to the state that it was in the PTB, which is a little bit of a head scratcher to me considering how strong it was in the PTB and how much people are saying this is just way too overpowered, there's not much counterplay to it, and they made those changes, and it wasn't, you know, as used as much, and 30 seconds was pretty short that it had. Well, now they just completely reverted it, if I'm not incorrect, and it's back to 60 seconds, which is pretty crazy to me. So maybe we will see a lot more folks running Lucky Break. The next change that was on the list is that the Demogorgon is pretty much back to where he was as well. They changed a lot of his add-ons to basically make them more balanced, but to be honest, they're quite useless now. I personally thought Demogorgon was in a pretty beautiful spot after all the changes that they gave to him, and I were like, this is great. This is exactly where he needs to be. And now we're seeing a lot more balance changes to him, which in my opinion aren't too good for him. We'll have to play test him and see more of it to give our full fledged opinion. But just reading off the patch notes, not the biggest fan of what's to come. And finally, we have to talk about Nemesis and what changes from the PTP have actually been brought into this. So for Nemesis, zombies will now respawn every 45 seconds. This used to be 30 seconds when destroyed by survivors. Zombies spend a maximum of 1.5 seconds in idle before starting up a patrol. This used to be 3 seconds. Zombie audio range extended to 6 meters. Zombies now shrink their collision when blinded, allowing survivors to move past them in small areas. Hitting a contaminated survivor with tentacle strike increases the mutation rate, or sorry, mutation rate. Uh, Lethal Pursuer has now been changed to 9 seconds instead of 7, which is beautiful. Hysteria now triggers when a healthy survivor is put into the injured state by any means, and this was pretty much only with basic attacks before, and it also was reduced to 30 seconds, it used to be 60. Eruption triggers when survivors enter the dying state by enemy any means, this used to be with basic attacks only. It also now has a cooldown of 30 seconds instead of 90, which is pretty damn good. And finally, incapacitated duration has been increased to 16 seconds, and it used to be 14. So those are the changes that we actually received from the PTB. There's also a lot of bug fixes, but for the most part, that is all of the new things. With that being said, it is time to play as a nemesis, time to test everything out, see what he's like, and see what it's going to be like to play against some high-level survivors. So that being said, let's jump into it. Alrighty, here we go. We're on the Iron Works of Misery. We sadly didn't get the new map because we got it before and then we ultimately got a DC before the match started. So now we are on Iron Works. This is my first game playing on the actual um, live servers as Nemesis. So we're going to see how this goes. And uh, yeah, we're just going to chat a little bit. Ooh, looks like somebody's there. The zombie is chasing somebody. We're just going to chat a little bit while we play. Um, there's a few things that are going to be coming up. Later on today, you guys are going to be seeing a podcast that features Urta Lydia, Polyester, and Dylan KG. It's going to be pretty interesting. Got a nice little cheeky hit on there, there. So yeah, it's going to be pretty interesting. Uh, a really cool podcast that is going to be coming out later on today. We're also going to be posting a tutorial for some of the newer folks that are getting into Dead by Daylight, because there's going to be a lot with this chapter coming out, so you will be seeing that eventually. And uh, yeah, it's going to be pretty awesome. Again, we are also streaming right now on Twitch, so you guys are more than welcome to come on over and say hello. We're going to be giving away this DLC, so that'll be pretty fun. And yeah, time to play some uh, some Nemesis, and that zombie's coming for her. 
Give her a little punch there. Now, we don't have all of the ghoul perks that I would love to have. Instead, we, um... We, we have a few cool ones. I... Excuse me? Where did that girl just go? What the f... Yeah. Okay. I don't know what that just was, but whatever it was, <laughs> it was something. Oh, zombie. You could have had her. You could have had her, zombie. Looks like they just got our ruin down, which is completely fine. We're just here to have some fun and to enjoy ourselves right now. We got Infectious Strike going, Hysteria, Barbecue and Chili, and Ruin. Ruin, obviously, is gone now, but that is completely okay. But yeah, guys, um... Been doing pretty good, been playing a lot of Warzone and some other games I got a Switch recently. So I've been just been taking a break kind of from DVD and making videos and streaming. Again, I, I've been on this break for a little while. It wasn't intentional, but it's very refreshing. And I did say when this chapter does come out, I will be going back to Dead by Daylight, playing a lot more. And um, yeah, I've just been enjoying myself realistically. I've been having a good old time and... Um, been feeling pretty good, been feeling pretty good. So we're back into the swing of things. We're going to be playing a lot more DVD, streaming a lot more, and having a lot more fun. Come on, zombie, you got you to get in there. You got to get the smacks for me. Alrighty. I do want to also keep some pressure on the basement because, again, they, they are in the basement, so... That would be good to do. This girl is running very peculiarly, but it does work in our favor. Now we can go put her into the basement, but yeah, how are you guys feeling about this chapter so far? I'm sure you guys have watched a lot of gameplay or maybe played it yourself. What do you guys feel about Nemesis? How do you feel about his power? What do you think of the new map? All that good stuff. Later on in today's podcast, you'll be hearing all of our opinions on everything. It will be based on the PTB. I'm not actually, you know, what's going on live now because it obviously just came out. So you'll have to wait for that. But for the most part, we are... um. We're pretty happy about this chapter, and we're excited to see what else is to come with everything, and... Yeah, just looking forward to everything, to be honest. Alrighty. Let's go ahead, and, uh, we're, we're gonna keep an eye on the basement, because there's always folks that like to come and save very quickly, so... Just keeping an eye, we still have four generators to go. Hello, dear. Nice little hit over the, um, pallet, or... Whatever that is, debris, I guess. I really enjoyed this killer, man. This killer is super duper fun. And when I played him in the PTB, I was just having an absolute blast. And I was so happy that I got to play him and uh, enjoy him. And I, I knew right away that I'm going to be putting a lot of hours into him. And uh, so far, again, I'm still having so much fun with him. I, I absolutely love his power. Um, it's pretty similar to, to some of the other killers. And we have a tendency to compare killers powers to other killers because obviously they're killers but um i don't know it just feels pretty nice it feels pretty satisfying and the zombies they they don't you know do much uh when it comes down to like really big maps but they still can play a factor and they can be annoying to survivors and you know they can give you information as well and i like that new aspect to it you know i i really do enjoy that new aspect it gives you map pressure in a sense but not necessarily map pressure, so it's pretty cool. Also, I didn't even mention, we got new skins. So we got some new legendary skins for Chris and Claire. As you can see, Claire is in our game right here, so that is really awesome. The zombie's moving a little bit faster because we have the um, Ultra add-on. So he that's actually pretty fast. That's pretty rapid for the zombie. Looks like they'll be able to cut her off here. Nice! Thank you, zombie! So yeah, in situations like that, it works pretty well. Ooh, actually, we can get the Mori for you guys. So, I did bring a Mori for those of you guys that have not seen it, and you guys are about to see it right now. Here we go! Come here, Jill. And she's dead. And you got the little stars Easter egg. It's a little bit laggy there. My DVD has been a little bit laggy, which is very odd, considering the PC that I have. It, it shouldn't be lagging whatsoever, but, you know. It is what it is. We can see there, obviously, the zombies chasing Claire. And because the generator just popped, the zombies actually moving a little bit faster. So if we play our cards right here. Oh, she actually continued to run. Oh, hello. Mr. Zombie, who are you chasing? Yeah, this is the one thing I wish they will fix. When zombies are bumping into objects and they're not moving and they're ideal for a set amount of time, I wish they would just despawn automatically and respawn somewhere else. I think that would be really, really awesome. 
Alrighty, there we go. Hi there, Claire. Get a nice little hit on her. That's why I really like his power. You can just kind of chill right here and, and get hits. You don't even need to fully loop. And I can just make the zombie go and get her. Ah, there, miss. So it forces her out that loop, which works perfectly for me. And then I could just take my power and simply just get her down. It works out quite well. Alright, let's go put you on the hook, shall we? We got three survivors remaining. We're not doing too shabby. Not too bad. We don't really have too much gen regression perks as well, so... Uh, we're doing pretty good, if I do say so myself. A ruin got cleansed pretty early. Again, I, I'm not a fan of ruin. We don't really have anything else to run. I'm a pop kind of guy, but, you know, it works well. Ooh, the zombies are going over there. Somebody was cleansing that totem, but it looks like they ran away. So I'm going to go back, because uh, the zombies are there. And we can apply some good pressure with the zombies just chasing the survivors around. It actually works pretty well in our favor here. Looks like they ran to the right. Nope, that was a zombie. I heard I thought that was a survivor. Ah, there you are. Oh, uh, we just went after her, though. I kind of feel bad. Hi. And smack! Aw, oh, I did it too early. I thought she was going to run around that way. She did eventually run around that way. There we go. Uh, I'm going to leave her on the floor because she probably has D-Strike and I, I um don't want to risk the D-Strike. So we'll just go over here. Looks like the zombie's chasing somebody. Who is here? Hello, friends. There they are. do 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 Miss Jill, where are you running to? She has a pallet here. We'll get the easy hit on her. You can also break this. That's what I also like about his power. You can continuously move while breaking things or hitting survivors. It feels so satisfying doing that. I don't know why. Something about that just makes me happy. Hi, Jill. Do do do. Alright, we'll pull our power out. Damn. It's very refined how his power works. Like, you have to be, like, super duper accurate to get it to work. I'm not actually reaching her. Oh, hi. <laughs> that hurt. So, yeah, you have to be pretty accurate with the power. And if survivors typically run straight back into you, you can oftentimes miss your attack. So, you got to be careful with that. I'll take the punch on her. There we go. Come on, righty. Zombie's chasing somebody over there, so works in our favor. And nice little easy down. She mind gamed herself there. All right, let's go put you on the hook, shall we? The one thing that I would change about Nemesis is that getting to tear three of his power doesn't really make a huge difference in gameplay. And it takes a, a while to get to tear three in his power. Uh, at least it was in PTP. So, I don't know if it's necessarily worth it to get into tier 3, especially if you have to hit some of your zombies down and things like that. So, damn, we didn't even get the grab there. That's a feels bad. Oh, blast mine. Very nice. I was like, what the heck is that? And we'll kick it again. So, there's somebody walking up there. So, what I'm going to do, I'm going to walk this way and act like I'm going this way. And then we'll just turn right back around because they're probably going to run down. Yep, there they are. And they're, the uh, Leon is probably going to go for the save. So we can chase this Jill. Or is this Claire, actually? This is Claire. It's really cool that they have the entire cast now. Well, not the entire cast, but a lot of the cast in the game. Pretty cool. He actually didn't get the save. He, he went to pop the gen instead. And now their teammate is dead. I don't know if that was the best call on his part. Because now I can just go for him. They, again, did pop that generator. There you are. Yeah, zombie's coming in to help me. Let's go, zombie. Let's go. Ah, Almost, almost. And, oh. Still got the hit on him. I'll take it. Zombie, you gotta, you gotta do me some favors here. All right, we've got a little down here. No dead art. Cool. Now we can go and take a look at the Claire because she is just by herself and we can get ourselves 
a nice little 4K to start off our first game with Nemesis. We're going to be playing him a lot more on stream today. Uh, I'm not sure how long I'll be streaming today because it is both of my parents' birthday, so I will be spending some time with them. It's really funny. Everyone's birthday is, is currently going on, which is pretty awesome, including Dead by Daylights. So we'll be streaming for a little bit today, testing him out, and uh, we'll be learning him up a little bit later. I think that zombie just stretched their arms out. I'm not too sure, though. No, maybe not. Aha! There you are. Hi, guys. What's going on? We'll go after the Claire because she is um not infected yet. I actually think we haven't hit Leon yet, so or hooked him, I should say. So we're gonna have to eventually do that. Hi yeah. Nice. Got a nice hit on her. I love doing that. I always enjoy doing that. Damn. <laughs> Nair misses. I'm I'm gonna get her if she keeps messing with me here. There we go. I warned you. you Want to do it again? I told you. I told you I was going to get you if you keep messing with me. <laughs> I don't know why she actually did that. She could have just ran to the other wall and continued to loop there, but to each their own. All right, Leon. Rolls are flipped now. You are now up and your friend's on the floor. Where did Sir Leon go? Hmm. Maybe if they change it so that in tier 3 your cooldown is a little bit faster when you're breaking like pallets or something would be kind of nice. That, that would be a, a good change to him. Um, hmm. Maybe we should just hook her so we don't prolong the game too much. But then again, I do want my barbecue stack. I do want my barbecue stack. Leon, where are you? I need to murder you. I actually don't know. Where the Claire even went. She kind of just crawled away and I lost her. Alright, no problem. We'll find her eventually. Hopefully the zombies can find him too. Zombies. If we found him. It's really interesting because when you do play as a survivor, you tend to see the zombies a lot more. And they tend to be much more of an inconvenience rather than when you're playing killer. Because when you're playing killer, you're like, oh, they're just walking around all casually. But they can really get some damage done and some work done. So... Are you going to take me straight to the Claire as well? I would absolutely love that if you do. Wow. <laughs> I was just trying to break the pallet there, but we still managed to get him. I'll take it. Not too bad. Come on. Let's put you on the hook, my friend. And there's the hatch. Hi, zombie. Good to see you. And there is the Claire. He might Kobe, but if not, that is going to be a lovely 4K for us. Not too bad for the first game on today. Not too bad at all. Alright, let's go put you on the hook. And yeah, there we go. Got some good old Nemesis games in. And that, that was pretty fun. Again, I, I really like him. I really enjoy him. And we're going to be experimenting with him a lot more. Testing him out. Figuring out uh, what are the best add-ons. What are the best perks and things like that. What maps work good with him. And where we actually rank him on the tier list. Uh, so yeah, that'll be pretty fun to do, and I hope I can see you guys on the stream. But there you go, ladies and gentlemen. That is your Nemesis gameplay. Sadly, we didn't get to go to the new map, but you did get to see the Mori, the power, and everything else like that. Not too shabby whatsoever. But my friends, that is going to wrap it up for today's video. I hope you guys did enjoy. If you did, make sure you leave a like down below. Share this with your friends so they can see the new killer and chapter as well. And again, happy birthday to Dead by Daylight and my parents as well. And yeah, that's going to do it for us. As always, I'm the king. I did my crown to you guys, and we'll see you in the fog.